What's up guys? Welcome to the Hangry by Nature channel. My name's Tina. I share tips on how to travel cheaper and better with family. This week, I want to show you guys my top 10 travel essentials that have gotten me through our Asia trip that we are on at the moment. Um, some of these have literally saved our lives and I want to share them with you guys so you can travel better and more effectively with your fam. If you want to follow our adventures with my squad of two boys and one man child, make sure you follow our Instagram or pop by the blog hangrybynature.com. I'll be linking all the products below in the description section for your reference if you guys want to pop in and have a look at them. Oh, if you like some of the stuff that we publish here on YouTube, make sure you give us a like after the video or if you've got any other suggestions or if you um, have been on travels with kids and have a product or some kind of travel hack or a secret that you want to share, let me know in the comments below because I probably need to know about it. Otherwise, guys, let's get right into it. Number one, the Fly Tot inflatable airplane bed. Now, it doesn't look like much, but I promise you, parents, mums, dads, this is gonna change your life because this is gonna change your economy class seat into a business class seat. Not for you, for your kids anyway. I'll show you exactly what it does. I'm gonna pump this baby up and I'm gonna show you how it works. It's super easy, super quick, and it's ready to go. Bada boom. So it comes with a pump that you can use and you can bring it with you um, if you want to inflate it quickly. Otherwise, you can also blow it up with your mouth, which is a little bit more strenuous, so make sure you bring partners, husbands along to do that bit for you. But for this case, we're gonna use the pump because, because I'm gonna probably pass out if I try and blow this thing up. So it's got, it's got two sections here, two valves, so you just pop them open. Pop the first one open right here. Attach the pump. Make sure it's right in there. Unlock this thing. Let's do it. premium economy and bulkhead seats. Um, it's accepted in over 50 airlines around the world. Check the link below in the comment section or in the, in the description section where it lists all the airlines that it's accepted on. But all major international airlines, most of them accept them. It basically doubles up, it works as a leg rest. Someone bring me a coffee. Um, sit here. So I come to sit here for a sec, come on. And that's the fly tot, guys. I promise you it's gonna save your life when you're on the airplane traveling with kids. Um, it fits most economy, premium economy, and bulkhead seats. Um, it's accepted also in over 50 international airlines around the world. Check the link below in the description to see which airlines um, it is actually accepted on. Well, aren't we super lucky parents of this generation to be blessed with contraptions like these. We didn't have these back in the day. I mean, back in the day, I remember when I went traveling with my mom, I used to lie all over her. I was just like a boneless chicken hanging over her and I'm pretty sure she got zero sleep. So we're lucky these days to have things like these where kids can actually utilize the airplane seat as their own bed. Now, if only we had these as adults in economy class, everything would be dandy. I'm listing all the products I'm mentioning in this video in the description section below. So if any of them pique your interest, you know where you can get them from, including this fly top right here, which I've linked down below if you wanna go check it out. Number two, the Lagelle Cubo Carry-On Suitcase. So these guys, 
guys, Lajel, they're actually from Japan and they've been around for as long as I've been alive, 29 years. So they know what they're doing when it comes to travel luggage. So we're going to pop this open now and I'm going to show you how we're doubling our use for this as a nappy bag and a carry-on suitcase because of this really handy front compartment they've got here where you can um, store things that you can easily pull out like nappies, wipes, clothes, water, anything like that. Alright, come on closer and I'll show you. This whole thing actually opens from the front like so. So this is what I call the easy access compartment and this is basically where we keep things that we need to immediately use like nappies, water, wipes, the essentials when it comes to um, having kids and it's really you just pop it open and just pull out whatever you need and they've got easy compartments where you can separate even a zippered compartment as well. Um, and normally, traditionally, I guess you'd use this as like a laptop compartment, but it works really well for sorting out your baby slash kid stuff. And if you want to go further into your suitcase, all you do is open this part right here, and you're in the main compartment of the suitcase right in here. So obviously you put things that you don't immediately need um, right in here, and it's really deep as well, so you can actually store a lot of stuff in here. And obviously it's got little compartments as well, little little zippered compartments for, uh, I don't know, to keep small things safe. Um, it's made from pure polycarbonate, which means it's super light and it's super durable. So, you know, you can uh, practice some moves on it, give it some wax, give it a good stomp, take out some stress. It's really durable, definitely. So, hard shell, that's the way to go these days, hey? Um, it's also it's also expandable so you know when you're packing a little bit more when you're coming back from holiday to bring back home souvenirs food whatever it may be it is it expands a good couple of centimeters right there so you can you know you can jam even more stuff into it obviously subject to um, weight but yeah it's got a TSA lock on top for security um, four wheels obviously which is what you want these days for easy pushing toddlers can ride on it push it and it'll, it'll just do fine absolutely fine and it comes in some really cool colors and I thought the white was super cool and obviously here we've got the handle the perfect carry-on suitcase for parents traveling with kids hey mate Number three, <laughs> the Tula baby carrier. I have never ever once dared to travel without this because this is the million dollar baby travel product for me anyway. Um, it's so practical to go through airports when you don't have like the stroller on you and uh, when you're going to places like Asia that you know a lot of the cities really aren't a lot of the cities really aren't very kid friendly because the gutters are like this high and um, there's no there's no escalators and lifts and things like that so that's where these things come in really really handy oh. I can't even express how much I love these more than life itself I always try to tell parents don't forget to bring the carrier or get babies and kids or toddlers used to the carrier from as early on as possible last year when Raf was just a newborn we actually traveled through Thailand and Vietnam and this thing was an absolute lifesaver like it doubled as a car seat because in Asia they don't really believe in car seats and so basically this was the car seat on me and I could discreetly nurse him so I would just pop this over and you know I wasn't wearing much clothes in Asia anyway so just you know I just whipped it open and just got him to nurse on me he slept on me pretty much the whole entire time I'd go to restaurants and eat and he'd just be snug up against me and I'd be eating. So this thing was an absolute lifesaver. It was um, it was so much more valuable to bring this um, at, over the pram. So this is the standard baby size one and I also actually have a toddler size one. So Tula have, they have numerous sizes but this is the one for babies and you can get an infant insert for it for when they're newborns which I used when we were in Asia last year and Rafi was only, I think he was only seven weeks old then. 
but we got the toddler one which is slightly bigger and they've got a mesh paddle one at the back so this is really handy when you're traveling to hot countries like Asia obviously or anywhere around the equator um, so it's breathable and this actually this supports up to 27 kilos in weight which is huge so definitely you get some long-term use out of this and he's pretty he's a happy chap in there and this is and by the way guys there's a lot of carriers out there that don't have the waist support here and that takes a massive strain on your shoulders this one I can carry I can carry a baby for hours in this I carried Rafi like a whole entire day in this and it was fine I didn't have any problems and I don't and I'm not exactly strong so it works out really well don't forget to pack the carrier number four say hello to Phil and Ted's Traveler this is a super portable and lightweight travel cot the lightest that we have actually seen so far at 2.9 kilos it's pretty much lighter than most newborn babies which is why we have chosen this because we are trying to pack as minimalist as possible and this actually fits into our check-in luggage once packed into its bag it's super quick to set up it has a self-inflating mattress it's got like a there's a cap on the side here and you simply just pop it open, the air flows in, boom, it's ready to go. And then you just pop it back in and voila, you have a mattress. We tend to stay at Airbnbs most of the time when we travel, which is why it's super important for us to have a travel cot. We don't really fancy the idea of all squeezing into a bed together because that's not really my idea of a holiday, nah. -uh. So that's why we need to bring a travel cot with us. Hotels, if you stay at hotels, most of the time they'll offer baby cots, but most Airbnbs don't. So that's why this is something that'll come really, really handy. And this part's super cool. So basically the whole side here unzips like so. And it opens up, so it doubles up in the daytime as I guess a little play space for your baby to crawl in and out of. Just pretend I'm a baby. Pop in here, what up? Pop out. I don't know why they would do that since they don't really like being confined, but the option is there if you need it or if you just want to get them used to it, they can crawl in and out as they please. All right, we're gonna pack this up and we're gonna chuck it into the suitcase to show you guys just how compact it is and how transportable. Let's do it. Google Chromecast or Amazon Fire Stick, Apple TV, whatever it is that you use, bring that with you on holiday because it's gonna save your life. Forwards, guys, I believe in TV. I'm a 90s kid and I literally grew up in front of the TV. I spent hours of the day when my parents were working watching Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon and I like to think I turned out alright, you know? Like my IQ isn't very high, a little slow at times, but I'm a normally functioning human being, you know, being glued to the TV most of the 90s. It's, look I'll tell you, it's not that bad. Not that bad. So for all the parents out there who are believers in TV and you want to get some peace and downtime and quiet time to yourself while you're on holiday, bring this with you because um, most Airbnbs and hotel rooms are equipped with obviously flat screen or you know smart TVs these days so they've all got a USB plug at the back which you can attach the Chromecast or any of those other devices to as well and then stream straight from Netflix, YouTube, anywhere to the TV, chuck on their favorite shows, get some peace to yourself and obviously when the kids are asleep you get to Netflix and chill with hubby, partner, whatever. That's it for this video. This is my first top five. I mean, obviously this is top 10 travel essentials for kids, but I can't fit it all in one video. So stay tuned guys for the remaining five of my top 10 travel essentials. And 
Make sure you like the video if you found it helpful. Comment below and let me know if you have any other travel hacks you want to share with me and the community. Because as you know, traveling with kids, it's, you know, parents don't really take holidays. They just look after their kids in a different city. That's kind of like my favorite travel quote right now because it's so true. So let us know, comment below, any other travel hacks. Otherwise, guys, we'll catch you on the flip side, but make sure you also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um, for more videos like these. Catch you on the flip side. Angry, hungry. Yes, I'm angry.